Hello, Mark Crossfield here. In my hands, we've got Callaway Apex Pro. So this is the forged Pro Apex iron. Let's give this player's iron a hit, see how it feels, see if it can help you play some better golf. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, forged Apex Pro from Callaway. We're getting uh, slim top, uh, slim sole, so medium to slim sole. Lovely, slimish top line. Certainly not blady, but it's slimmer. Next to no offset, fantastic sharp lines. Beautiful presented face. Grooves look sharp and nice, and it just looks like a pretty tour inspired iron totally can see where they're going with this one you get a little bit of a cavity around the back so you get a bit of what Callaway are famous for which is forgiveness um, you get some tungsten kind of drilled in bits down under this sole they're saying which in the longer irons not in the shorter ones so sort of help with a little bit of launch makes the longer irons uh, easier to hit than say a straight blade would be um, but it's just a high grade finished premium product basically that's what it looks like that's what you expect it to be this will be in uh, you know, tall players bag, it's aimed at them, it's inspired by them, it's got their ideas uh, in the design. So let's give it a hit and see how this Forge Club feels from Callaway. Here we go. Oh yes, that feels nice, very nice. Off the face it feels medium to soft, not the softest feeling iron in the world. And that again, like I say repeatedly, it's through sound more than anything else. Makes a little bit of a clip, thin face I think these ones have got, um, but it still feels pretty responsive, like you're, what you're putting in, you're getting a lot of that out rather than it kind of really firing off the face. Let's give it another hit. Oh, it feels very, very nice. You know, this bracket of club definitely could appeal to a wide range of golfers, I still feel, on the quality of your striking. I do feel that you could you know, you could be of any handicap and still use this club subject to how you hit the ball on the face. If you are able to hit the ball on the face in a consistent spot, but you don't deliver the angles correctly so the ball spins offline, you could still use this club because the spinning offline is coming from the angles you deliver and the feel will be coming off where you're in it on that face, round or built around the sound. Um, but then obviously tour players who deliver good numbers with good strike patterns, this is going to be everything they want, low handicap golfers, those kind of things. So definitely inspired and aimed at the lower handicap, but it's any range of handicap can use this club which is always the importance of going and get fit in and working out where you're in on the face and numbers you produce. Let's give it another hit. Definitely down by the ball, it is slick and gorgeous looking. So it's a very true kind of flight. I'm interested to see the numbers. It's not too high, certainly not low. I've got no problem getting that in the air, but I don't feel like I'm gonna lose it high in any way at all. Um, you know, it's, a, it's what you'd expect it to be, a good, well-produced premium player's iron. Now I've hit some balls, real balls, with GC2 HMT down here on the floor. Let's show you some of the data and show you how this club stacks up maybe to some others to give you an idea if this could go in your bag and help you hit some better scores. But impressions of it looks gorgeous, just really, really nice. And anyone looking for a player's iron, definitely go and check this one out. But let's look at the numbers. I'm just going to hit this one because I enjoy hitting this. Um, and see what numbers it presents and how it actually performs with some real balls. Right guys, Callaway Apex Pro Iron. This is the sleeker, better looking club. It definitely looks very good down by the ball. Let's look at some numbers. Launch angle 18.7, hitting a six iron here. Average carry 175, not too bad at all for that kind of style of club. I'm impressed with that. Um, peak height 32 yards. Again, I'd like to see that a little higher, keeping it in the 34 yards kind of range. 4,100 spin for six iron, not too bad at all. Um, ball speed 118. Look, the Apex Pro, for me there, I'm impressed with the distance numbers it's getting from the looks, really good. So again, you're getting this kind of crossover between classic, very sharp, beautiful lines, but also some real performance in there as well, which is impressive I mean, for distance wise. Um, so very good numbers there, I'm impressed with that. Using my Pro V1X balls, my Titleist balls there that I game. So these are the kind of shots I'll be trying to recreate on a course. This is the data I'd be taking out on a course. And that and those numbers, that data, I could easily take that out 
and play um, to a very good standard to get the desired distances I need. Let me know what you think, guys. Callaway Apex Pro, is it the kind of iron you would hit? I mean, I could see that crossing over definitely. It's always going to stay in the better player range, you'd imagine. But if you strike the ball, if you play off 20-something, but you hit the ball near the middle of the bat a lot, this iron definitely is one you should try. It's about how, where you're striking the ball on the face. This club, you've got to remember, does not know what your handicap is. It only knows how you collide, the ball with the, uh, the face collides with the ball. That's all that ball's going to feel. That ball does not know what your handicap is. So if you collide with the ball well, but the face is offline, say, then there's your handicap shot. So you can't putt, that's where your handicap's up. But still, if you strike it in near the middle, this club looks fantastic and certainly could be one that you could gain. But as a general rule, definitely towards that higher, uh, sorry, lower, better player handicap, I could see really uh, falling in love with the looks of this one. Let me know what you think, guys. Very impressive numbers. I, I can't believe I'm getting those numbers from that kind of club. Let me know what you think. Post comments down below, and we'll speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.